five. Civil society representatives from Fiji take this opportunity to congratulate Fiji for volunteering for this year's national review and for presenting its report, which is not available on the SDG's knowledge platform website at the moment and will be in two weeks. As part of an active citizen citizenry and as a member of the Fiji CSO SDG VNR task force, we are vested in the full and inclusive implementation of the SDGs at home. And as the 2030 agenda says to leave no one behind, we ask you the following questions. Number one, as part of the first ever multi-stakeholder meeting for, its, uh, for this ambitious VNR where all goals have been report reported on rather dilutely, we find the process rushed, unengaging and exclusive. Moving forward, with so many exemplary practices exhibited in the global processes, how are you going to ensure meaningful engagement of all stakeholders, government, national and local civil society, private sector, trade unions, international organizations and UN agencies and others in implementing the SDGs and other forward processes? Two, the Ministry for Economy has written the VNR and convenes the National SDGs Task Force that is charged with overseeing SDGs implementation. When we talk to different ministries and agencies, they are not aware of the localization of the SDGs in their areas of work or that there is a task force for this important work. So five years in, how is this task force connecting all the ministries and stakeholders to educate them and streamline data collection on the 2030 agenda, targets and indicators, and that there is alignment of their work with these global processes. The SDGs require significant and creative financing, so how does the government plan to include the voices of civil society when it comes to financing for development, as development is, is for all people? And I thank the representative from other states.